This is a story. A story of tragedy. A story of a GPU cut down in its golden years. A story of a card that aged so well that AMD had to kill it off. This is the Radeon R9 280X and we're going to find out how it performs in 2022. I hope you enjoy the video. My name's Andy and this is Andy's Tech. So 2021 right? Crypto miners, no GPUs, and anything on the shelf is so overpriced that people were selling off their mother-in-law to buy it, though the latter may not be a bad thing. There was hope though in the form of AMD's older GCN cards, a light at the end of the tunnel you might say. <laughs> nope. To my dismay, and I'm sure yours, AMD decided to kill off driver support in June last year, just when we needed it. Nice one AMD as we all needed a 6500 XT, right? But fast forward and 2022 is looking up. GPUs are back aplenty. Crypto miners are panicking like headless chickens and happy days. But what about these older GCN cards like the R9 280X? Are these still a viable bargain for us budget gamers? Well, I think we should find out. So here we have an MSI Radeon R9 280X and I picked this card up locally for £35 the other day and I kid you not I was paying up to £100 for these cards in the midst of last year but moving on. The R9 280X was released on October the 13th 2013. It's built on the 28 nanometer process. It has 2048 shading units, 128 TMUs, 32 ROPs and 32 compute units. Our card has an 850 megahertz base clock which can boost up to 1020 megahertz and a memory clock of 1500 megahertz. The card has three gigabytes of GDDR5 with a memory bus of 384 bits and had a launch price of 299 US dollars. It consumes 250 watts of power as well, so you will need a decent PSU. The card also doesn't support full DX12, which can be problematic in some of the newer titles, and some titles may not even launch. As mentioned also, the card no longer receives driver support, and we'll be running the latest available drivers on the AMD website. Now you can run modded drivers for these GCN cards, but for the purpose of this video, we'll just be using the stock AMD drivers. It's worth noting as well that the 280X is basically a rebrand of the previous generation, the 7970, a practice that AMD is still up to today with the current 6600 XT and 6650 XT, just in case someone wanted to have a moan. Yes, we were being fleeced nine years ago. It's not a new thing, guys. So that's introduced the card, but the real test I guess is whether it can still perform in some of today's most popular titles, or did we just waste £35? I've faith, but the proof's in the pudding, so let's jump into some games. But before we do that, let's just have a quick look at the test system we'll be running the GPU in today. We have a Xeon E3 1240 V3, a 4 core 8 threaded CPU from Intel that performs the same as an i7-4770 and that's sitting underneath my lovely Noctua cooler. There's 16GB of DDR3 1600MHz RAM, a Cooler Master V750 modular PSU and all the games are on my 1TB Crucial BX500 SSD. A good all round budget system for 2022 and will be more than enough to let our 280X stretch its legs without being bottlenecked. The case, just in case you're interested, is a Fractal Design Focus G and was donated by one of our Discord members, Rugby187. The GPU will also be running a slight undervolt of 75mV and a slight overclock of 50MHz on the core and 250MHz on the memory. But before I digress, let's jump into some games.
So there we have it folks, and I think a pretty impressive result for our little R9280X. Yes, granted, it's not going to perform like the latest and greatest Radeon graphics card out there, but it can and will still play any modern title at 1080p with at least 30fps, and in my opinion performs better than the last gen console like the Xbox One and PS4. FSR has also helped massively to extend the life of these cards, making titles like Cyberpunk playable at 1080p. Although I didn't test any eSports titles today like Fortnite or GTA 5, they will run beautifully and will have no trouble at all. I didn't have any trouble also with drivers, and the only warning I received was in Far Cry 6, which ran perfectly fine as well. So was the R9280X worth the price tag? Yes, definitely. For a budget rig, you can't really go wrong at that price. So thank you for watching the video, and thank you to all my subscribers so far, you guys are amazing. Please leave a like or a comment as always, it helps the channel out massively. Take care, God bless, and hopefully see you in the next one.